Welcome to first grade. I am so excited to meet you. Hello, first graders and families. My name is Miss Goth, and I'm going to be your first grade teacher this year. This is my third year teaching at Turner Elementary. I taught one year of kindergarten, um, and last year I taught first grade, and this year I will also be teaching first grade. About Miss Goth. I grew up in Lewisburg, Kansas. Here is a picture of my family. Also, the cider mill, which is what most people know Lewisburg for. I attended college at Pittsburgh State University in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and graduated with a degree in elementary and inclusive education. This is my boyfriend, Ben. He is a college basketball coach and lives in Springfield, Missouri. We enjoy going to Chiefs games together. A fun fact about me is I have been working as a youth gymnastics coach for nine years. That's enough about me. Now it's time for our classroom tour. Stay tuned. All right, here is our seating situation for the year. Normally in our first grade classrooms, we will have tables. This year we have desks. These desks allow us to keep our distance throughout the day we will be doing majority of our work from our desk but i know it's hard to sit down all day long so we will definitely be having other opportunities to work from spots on the floor it will be every other dot there will be a student and those line the perimeter of the classroom we also which i don't have to show you yet but they will be here before school starts have some yoga mats and the yoga mats are going to allow us to either put them next to our desk and have a place that we can sit and lay down to read or to do a different activity. We can also take those yoga mats outside and that allows us to have a way to work outside so we can take off of our masks and give us a little bit, time to, a little bit of time to breathe. So I'm excited for those yoga mats to get here so we can utilize those as well. Right here posted on the wall near my desk, we have a list of our five rules. Rule number one, follow directions quickly. Rule number two, raise your hand for permission to speak. Rule number three, raise your hand for permission to leave your seat. Rule number four, make smart choices. And rule number five, keep your dear community happy. Above that, we have our number line, zero, all the way over to 20. Then we also have a bulletin board here that says Fursy Friends. That's where we're going to get to put a picture of everyone in our class because we will only be seeing eight students a day. So you wanna to get to know the other people who are in your classroom also. And then over here we have a focus wall. This is where we will hang up charts for our reading and our math. Down here we have just some storage and over here, supply storage. And then we have our books for our new reading curriculum, which I'm super excited about. Back here on our back wall, we have a poster that reminds us how to use five-star writing. Then next to it, we have our giant word wall. And by the end of first grade, this will be filled with a bunch of new words that you have learned. Down here, we have our book boxes. 16 of them because we do have 16 students in our class this year. Inside of our book boxes, we have a few books and these will change out uh, weekly or every few weeks, depending on how much we need to use them. We have our calendar companion here, our math workbook here, and then our planner. Right, right over here on this wall, we have our alphabet chart up top and our iPad cart right here. This is where iPads will be stored when they are at school. Right here we have our classroom library with a selection of books that your kiddos will get to pick from and put back over in their book boxes and keep for a week or two. Right over here, these are going to be our cubbies this year and each morning they're gonna come grab their box out of here and this is where their supplies is going to go. That way they can keep it at their desk and bring it back at the end of the day and they're not sharing supplies with anybody so we're not spreading any germs. Right over here, just some classroom storage. Right here we have our calendar that we will do each day right before math time. 
here's our whiteboard. And my teaching easel. We're just gonna go over our schedule super quick. First thing on here is arrival. When they get here, they will come straight to their classroom. So it is important that on the first day of school, they try to remember my name so they can easily be directed to our classroom. Something different this year is that they will actually be grabbing their breakfast here from the front of the room and taking it to their seats to eat in the classroom. After they finish their breakfast, they're gonna put their things in their locker and then complete morning work. We will gather around the room for a morning meeting. That's where we're gonna utilize those dots around the perimeter of the room. We'll do a read aloud. Sometimes that'll be outside on yoga mats. Sometimes that will be indoors. Then we go to recess. Recess time, they can take off their mask. And we have an assigned area on the playground for that day. So we might be on the blacktop for that day. And then the next day we might use the playground. So we have assigned areas just to keep kiddos from being in contact with a lot of other kids. Reading, then we have our reading centers. At 11 o'clock, lunch will be brought to our classroom. So we're not going to the cafeteria. Lunch will be brought here. We will eat in the classroom. Of course, masks can be taken off during that time, but once they're finished, masks go back on and food is thrown away. And then after lunch, we've got recess and then writing time specials we will have our normal specials but instead of traveling to the specials teachers classroom such as the gym or the music room or the art room specials will be held in our classroom so the special teachers will come here and also i know pe and some music will be done outside too that way they can take off their mask and have a little bit more space math time at the very end of the day will be our cleanup time putting away our supplies back into our cubby making sure our area is as clean as possible and then dismissal at the end of the day all right so this is how we will be seeing each other this year mask on mouth covered nose covered we can take our masks off when we eat and when we are outside and playing at recess when our masks come off each student's going to get a lanyard that has clips that will clip to the straps of their mask and it will hang. That way it doesn't end up on the ground or on anyone else's face. So that will be a way that we make sure that we stay nice and clean with our mask. We will be using a lot of hand sanitizer this year. We will use it anytime we enter or exit our classroom to go to recess, to go to the bathroom, before we eat, after we eat, and hourly throughout the day, just to make sure our hands stay nice and clean, in addition to washing our hands for 20 seconds every time we are in the bathroom. All right, guys, that's all for our video today. Thank you so much for watching. I will be making more videos to explain different things going on in our classroom. Uh, next week, I will be making a video to talk about what at home learning is going to look like with iPads and binders. So don't worry about any of that at home stuff yet because another video will come out for that next week. I just wanted to give you guys some clarification on what in-person learning was going to look like in our classroom. Parents, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email this weekend. I will try to get back to you and I will see everybody next week for the first day of school. I'm so excited. Bye guys.